from the very first person who was stopped, when you are stopped by the police, white gets stopped, black gets stopped for the same offense, there's a good chance the white is going to be let go. And, we'll, and, and if they aren't let go, all along the system, from arrest to bail to charging, ultimately to, to the jury trial to punishment, there's, there's been demonstrated that is, that is a clear uh, discriminatory pattern that exists within the criminal justice system. Now, I will admit that having worked in that system, nothing frustrated me more than the seeing the blatant form of discrimination that exists within that system. Now, I actually stopped. I, I literally said, I'm, I'm not going to do this. I am not going to participate in a system that is so scandalously discriminatory. And, and that sort of propelled me uh, into dealing with the, the, the civil rights issues. And, and, and even though those are tough questions, at least I'm in better control of it, and I don't have to um, accept stuff the, um, that, that I see taking place. And, and instead of me accepting what the cops have to say, I get to sue the cops for their misconduct. That's, so, but those are just issues that I can see that, that as a future lawyers, as you look at the uh, civil rights area, those are, those are major issues. The other issue that I, I, I want to, a couple other issues I just want to touch on briefly, same-sex marriages is a huge issue. It is like the leading civil rights issue of our day. When I was coming through as a boy, obviously the Civil Rights Act, of those, those issues were front and center. Uh, but they're part of the law, and I'm really in the process of working, fighting, uh, and having those, those laws applied uh, to individual fact pattern, which is what lawyers do. Same-sex marriages, to me, is, is, is a fundamental issue that I don't understand why it's such a big deal. And the reason why I say that, and, and, and I say that because gender discrimination is just not appropriate. And that to the extent that a person has a right to pursue happiness, I just don't understand how you can say that if two people want to pursue their life together, that there's somehow there's something fundamentally wrong with that. Now, a number of states have said that that's fundamentally, they agree as well. Or, and, and, and they've enacted laws. We know in California that Prop 8 was designed to prevent that from occurring. That matter is now before the, uh, has gone before the Ninth Circuit it will pro and it's been reversed. It will probably uh, go before a full body of the, of the Ninth Circuit and then ultimately onto the Supreme Court. If it doesn't happen now, it's going to happen in, in five years or ten years because it is so fundamentally right that it, that it has to occur. So that's one of the major issues that are going to be confronting um, uh, us in the civil rights area in the, in the years to come. The, another big issue is the 1965 Civil Rights Act is under challenge by a number of states. What that act says, the most important part of it is that in those states and areas uh, where there has been a pattern of discrimination in allowing people to vote, and we have that in some counties in California, for example, where you might have a situation where it's a total Hispanic community, but no Hispanics on the Board of Supervisors, and no Hispanics on the, on the, um, on the, um, on, on the um, super, uh, City Council. And, and, and so this, the, the Voting Act, Act identified various states around the country that had that, primarily southern states, uh, and including various counties in Texas. Well, now the Supreme Court is wrestling with, and, and, and more importantly, it, in the Voting Rights Act of 1965, there is a position, a, a section called Section 5. Section 5 says, look, before you change the voting provisions, the residency requirements, or anything in that county, you must go before the Department of Justice and get a clearance. They have to okay this. And, and, and so what is happening now, many states are saying, well, wait a minute, those issues are no longer that prevalent problem that uh, anybody, African Americans can vote. There's no, they don't have to pay a poll tax uh, like they had to before. They don't have to know the Constitution. They don't have to know anything. They just have to be of the right, of a certain age uh, and, and can read and speak English. Or maybe not even that necessarily. Well, now what has happened is some states are seeking to add other provisions. And it's called voter suppression. And it's a very significant issue now because voter suppression is designed to minimize those people from voting who have a difficult time voting. Uh, senior, and, and what they want is to have uh, voter IDs 
And the voter ID is an interesting question because instead of having whatever ID you may have that may be a legitimate one to identify who you are, they're saying you've got to have a certain type of ID. Well, we also know that that is a challenge uh, for senior citizens and, and people who have, have disabilities, et cetera. So that is a big issue. The Justice Department has decided uh, to take a case up, I, I think, from South Carolina uh, now, but there are a number of other states. And, and these are issues that are extraordinarily important because they ultimately can determine who the next president is going to be. They can determine what the congressman is going to what, what's the, what is going to be uh, uh, the representation in Congress. Uh, and, and so the very, very important issues in the civil rights area that I think that one should um, be mindful of. Of course, immigration is a huge issue and that um, uh, one that um, uh, there's going to be a lot of fighting about. Uh, it's interesting in Arizona as I look and see what's going on there in terms of the fighting around Arizona, um, uh, immigration. But those, these are issues that are going to be part of the civil rights structure uh, for years to come. Uh, the DREAM Act was, a, was something that should have been passed. It wasn't passed. Uh, there are strong forces that are uh, in, on interest that are opposed to it. If you don't know what it means is that if you're from out of the country and you come here uh, illegally by your parents uh, when you were a kid or under a certain age and you do well, you go to high school, you graduate, you go to college, and you go into the military, you can put yourself on a path to citizenship. There's a strong opposition, a strong opposition to that, but, but those are the kind of issues that are going to be fought uh, in, in the future. So. In closing, let me just say, I, I've been very fortunate in my life to be able to practice law uh, in a way that um, allows me to feel good about the kinds of work that I'm involved in. Um, and um, I'm often reminded 